Hi everybody, today I have something really nice to share with you that uh, I found that is really neat. The Mac Mini comes with a 54G wireless uh, card inside. Now you can't get any faster than that according to the specs when you buy the machine on the internet or on the Apple Store. Now I found a way to get a, a wireless end card which is right here onto the machine and it works perfectly fine. I have screenshots that I'm going to show you and in the next few minutes I will show you how to get this done. But it works very well and I have a wireless end router and basically it, it, this you don't even need drivers on it. I will put links for the driver for Windows and stuff but uh, for the Mac all I did is take out this card you know the original one that came the 54G put in the wireless N inside of it and it, I got wireless N on it so it works really good. Uh, the only thing that I also mentioned in the video is that I bought this card on eBay and it looks slightly used so it uh, you know I wasn't very happy with the look of it I didn't, it doesn't look like a brand new card it comes straight out of Hong Kong so it's coming from a long way from here but the, I got the card for $26 so it's a, it's a price is great and uh, I have now wireless N on it so I can stream Netflix movies and stuff a lot faster on a wireless network remember you do need a wireless network router the N router in order for this to actually get the benefit out of it okay but I'll show you it's a simple process if you know if you saw my previous video on a Mac mini how to upgrade the hard drive and memory uh, this will be easy for you to follow just follow the steps and you'll be good to go I appreciate you watching my videos and I hope this particular video you like it because I really found um, for the price and what you can do now with this to get wireless sound on it, on it I have this Mac mini uh, pimped out <laughs> it's better than the buying it at the Apple store with all the specs and everything so definitely take a look at the video I appreciate it thank you so we're gonna go ahead and start it we're gonna turn it around and uh, in this machine here you have all these borders okay on the side here that have this little teeth inside that actually lock up the machine so uh, basically we need to grab this thing here and put it in a corner so we're gonna do that stick it into a corner and you're gonna pop the machine out okay and when you pop this out come around evenly take your time all around and once you get all the sides basically you'll be able to get this thing out of the out of it in this case since I've opened it before it's easy to open maybe it'll take a little more time but uh, you can do it uh, when you open it you are gonna see on the side here these are the teeth I was telling you about and the reason why I told you I got the big spatula is because you see how it covers more surface I can actually pop out all these at one time so it works really good uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on the side here and we're gonna go ahead and open the machine now on here there's four screws that you need to open there are on one here there's another one here one back here and another one on the back so there's four of them and uh, this is the airport antenna which you're gonna need to pop this out in order to go ahead and and, uh, and get you know get this out of the unit so on to pop it out on the side here you are gonna see there's uh, let me see if I can zoom in here so I can show you on the side here there's uh, two little legs that you will see and you need to go ahead and uh, grab these two little legs on the side and pop that out there's a spring here okay so be careful because the spring will pop out okay I, I usually what I do is just put my finger on top and when I pop this thing out it that way it doesn't come out but I did it this time without holding it and the spring flew out so make sure you, that, that doesn't happen to you uh, this is just the airport antenna you can put it on the side here and it's the Wi-Fi antenna uh, now you're ready to go ahead and take out the screws in the machine and the, like I said the screws are on either corner so you're gonna be able to remove all of them one thing that you have to do before you get started is on the front here of the machine there is a cable right here okay that it's connected with a little plug okay you can either pull it out or with your nail you can actually pull that cable out it's a, like I said it's a really tiny cable so you can pop this out really easily and you can put it back in the same way uh, since we are gonna do just the, this part of the wireless card all we need to do now is take out the four screws and I'll show you uh, how they come out we're gonna pop this open uh, fold it over this way it's like a sandwich so we're gonna grab this slide it over and slowly take your time like I said and you can turn this over like this there we go in here this is the card okay that's the wireless card right here that is for the Wi-Fi and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove that card and to remove it is really simple first of all you can you can pop this out okay the antenna pops right out of the unit 
and uh, it's just a little it's just a little plug it's not nothing it doesn't have anything special just plug it pop it out and you're going to go ahead and take get your Phillips screwdriver and we're going to take out one screw that's here okay take out that one screw and now the card pops up save the screw because you don't want to lose it it's really tiny and now the card comes out it is identical pretty much to the other card that I bought they're similar in all the aspects of it they're pretty much the same port same same uh, setup so we're gonna go ahead and, and here there's a little leg here you might want to get a little tweezer to remove this little leg because you're gonna need it but uh, you can go ahead and do that on, we have it now on the, old, on the new one I bought and so we have that and we're ready to go we're gonna pop this in here let it sit there and we're gonna grab the same little screw again that we had and we're gonna put the screw right back in that little spot okay so we're gonna go ahead and grab the little tiny little screw and put it in its place there we go all right now I got the screw back in there I have everything ready now what I need to do is put the antenna back the um, the Wi-Fi antenna the airport antenna you're gonna put it back in there so basically you're gonna pop in this little thing on one of the uh, on the little legs okay it has this little legs on it uh, on the top you're gonna pop that in there like I said take your time with all this stuff don't rush it's a lot better when you actually take your time that way nothing goes wrong so now that you're ready we're gonna pop this back into the machine again we're gonna put everything back together and uh, just it'll sit right on it again so you just gotta you know go ahead and like move the antenna out of the way and uh, you can just sit the machine back in place make sure it's seated correctly inside and now we're ready to go ahead and we're gonna put all the four screws back again so let me do that real quick and I'll come right back all right now we're ready to go ahead and put the antenna back so let me turn this on the side here just put in the spring again and pop in the antenna it just pops right in place it's popped in I have all the screws in place and then the last thing we need to do is put the little antenna the little I'm sorry the little cable back into place again so we're gonna grab that little cable and plug it into the front of here okay all right I tested it now we're ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and close this up the machine turns on so I'm gonna go ahead and close the, the, the unit so just let it sit back in place like I said take your time make sure it's nice and even all around so that it closes good and then you're good to go there we go perfect now your Mac mini is ready one quick note I wanted to mention regarding the card is that uh, that I found afterwards uh, I have the Mac mini with the hard drive partition so I can have XP on one part you know with using boot camp so you can have Windows XP and I can also have um, the Mac OS 10 since there are things that you can't do on the Mac that you can do on Windows and vice versa there's things you can do on you know you can't do on Windows that you can do on the Mac so um, definitely uh, what I did is when I boot up into Windows XP I can definitely see on the wireless card the actual speed which on the Mac it looks a little different it shows me 65 on the Windows it shows me 135 uh, so it's uh, a big difference from 54G that you're getting so I'm getting uh, cable speeds now with this okay so definitely it is worth it the card like I said looked a little used but works perfectly fine regarding the drivers I noticed that when I installed the original 54 uh, G drivers that come with the Mac mini on the Windows XP partition when I boot up with this card I don't need to put drivers nor on the Mac or on the Windows uh, XP side I didn't need to do anything it just basically booted up and all I had to do is just connect to the wireless network available and uh, we're good to go so I just want to make that side note I noticed that before and I just wanted to make it easy for you guys thank you I appreciate it